Well, that was more like it. This is what I wanted to see from the Bulls, regardless if it was the preseason. You want to see some semblance of cohesion, team chemistry, and a fluid offense. Yes, I know the reigning MVP, Nikola Jokic, did not play in this game, so you always have to take these performances with a grain of salt. Like, this is going to be a different matchup in the regular season, but you do have to be encouraged by what you saw in this game, especially from the starting group who didn't play all that well together in the first one. Uh, much better pace much better floor spacing and passing guys were actually hitting their shots which is key and overall the energy level was a lot better guys looked like they were having fun out there which we really didn't see until the second half of the last game by the way if you're noticing i sound a bit different it's because one i'm a little under the weather and two i'm visiting my parents for the week with my kids and was not able to bring my microphone so for the next week you're gonna have to settle for the good old computer microphone but anyway so a few things to note in this one i'm sure everyone saw that javante green got the start over Patrick Williams at the four, which I saw a lot of people saying on Twitter leading up to the game that this is a sign of things to come, Pat's been demoted, all of that. And I was kind of like, eh, I'm sure Billy Donovan is just exploring using different groups of guys. Like that's what the preseason is for. You experiment and see which lineups and rotations you want to go with to start the regular season. That being said though, so far, Javante has outplayed Pat and really on both ends of the floor and I love Pat I still have high hopes for him I'm not giving up on this guy like a lot of other Bulls fans are but you should start whoever the better player is and right now that's Javante now Pat did look better in this game in some aspects he was more aggressive with his drives was trying to create his own shot finished the game with 11 points on four for six shooting but Javante man another big game on offense you look at his last two games He's not just scoring well, he's doing it at an efficient rate and playing so well off the ball, cutting to the basket. Like I said in the last post-game video, he just gets it. He knows his role, knows where he needs to be, and you saw that tonight. The other thing that I love seeing in Javante is developing that outside game. We knew he could hit threes last season, but if he ups that volume and hits them at a solid clip, that honestly could be a huge game changer for the Bulls. Well, assuming Lonzo comes back as well. But with 15 points on 5 for 7 shooting, Javante had a good night. Speaking of efficiency, another confident and efficient shooting night from Nikola Vucevic. Hope that this is a sign of things to come and that last season was just an isolated down year for him as he got used to being a third option. 24 minutes, 14 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists, 4 assists I should say. What I also like seeing from Vucevic is just how active he's been on the defensive end in these first two games. Now moving over to Zach Levine, you look at the box score and you see he only scored 7 points in 24 minutes after a game in which he had another little scoring output, but what I like seeing from Zach in this one was he was much more active in attacking the basket, but also he was active in facilitating. He had six assists tonight and only playing half the game. DeMar DeRozan did his thing, only 24 minutes, was still able to put up 22 points on nine for 15 shooting, three rebounds and three assists. He looked a little more fluid this game and getting to his spot rather than it looking a little forced like we saw in the previous matchup. Sumu gets the start again at point. Uh, he put up nine points in 24 minutes. He's been looking more and more confident out there playing point guard and also just more physical. You can tell that added weight that he put on over the offseason has really helped him in going up against some of the bigger bodies guarding him. Dude was holding his own when being challenged at the basket by guys like Aaron Gordon and Michael Porter Jr. The two surprises for me today, though, were Kobe White and Alex Caruso coming off the bench. Obviously, we didn't get to see much of Kobe in that first preseason game as he suffered a knee contusion, but he ended up being okay and came up big in this one, scoring 15 points off the bench in 18 minutes, shot the ball very well, five for seven from the floor, two for four from deep, was actually attacking the basket, and he was even doing some facilitating and bringing the ball up, setting up plays. He did have four turnovers, but was a plus 13 on the night. It's great to see a game like this from Kobe, but I've always said countless times, it's all about consistency with Kobe White. Can he show up and play well, score at a high level on good efficiency and do so consistently? Because we would get these stretches from Kobe last season where it seemed like he was turning a corner. He would have a stretch of three games where he was putting up 17 points, 22 points, 24 points. And then the next five games, he would give us four points, shooting two for 14 and 0 for 9 from three. Like we need to be able to rely on Kobe on a nightly basis to be that go-to scorer off the bench. That would be so key for the Bulls to have that Jordan Clarkson or Tyler Hero level scorer coming off the bench. It just makes the Bulls that much more of a threat on offense when you have a scorer like that in the second unit. 
And then for Caruso, I mean, aside from his highlight reel steal and dunk that he had, which was incredible, I'm always amazed by that guy's hops. But that aside, Caruso was bringing tons of energy, was super active all over the floor on both ends, locking down the perimeter on defense. He had three steals in just 15 minutes of play, but was also making some athletic moves in the paint that enabled him to score 11 points on four for four shooting. Need to see more of that from Caruso going into the regular season. I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see much of Dalen Terry after the electric game he had against the Pelicans where he really brought the Bulls back in it after being down big in the third quarter. He only played nine minutes tonight, which I get, you know, Donovan wants to explore and test out various rotations. They're also wanting to see which guys uh, who are actually going to make the roster or could potentially make a roster in that final two-way spot as a lot of these guys are competing for that final spot. But come on now, give Terry more than nine minutes in a preseason game to see what he can do. He still looks solid out there, even in the limited playing time. As I said before, for me, it's all about the hustle and energy this kid brings. I don't care if he makes mistakes. You go out there and compete your hardest no matter the game and you get your team riled up. That's what I want to see more than anything. The Bulls are off until Sunday in which they'll be taking on the Raptors in Toronto, their only road game of the preseason, and then they'll finish off the preseason at the United Center against the Milwaukee Bucks on Tuesday. And then it's just another week after that before the regular season begins. Can't believe it's already here. Anyway, I may not be uploading as frequently uh, this week until the start of the season. As I said, I'm visiting my family for the next week, but I do hope you all have a great weekend. And as always, be sure to subscribe if you're a Bulls fan as I do post daily Bulls content. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.